This is drowning or waving. Whether drowning or waving, I had open hands slowly fading like meteors upon my earth. And he breathed out flowers from the rot inside his stomach. Afterward, the elephant looked more like an octopus. We used his serotonin against him. That is drowning or waving. Untitled. His words fall on my inner ear like voices of my memory, vivid as time lapsed since he told me silly advice about grasping my lighter to cause more damage which is necessary for natural serotonin release of the pituitary gland swollen and oozing shame and guilt, now a constant reminder to stay, stay as long as I can. I never want to come down from inside the mirror. I see hair on my face, to face his face, my face similar as his, genetically inclined to blast off outside my body and mingle with terrifically sinister pink and yellow charcoals coat my teeth, melted in my saliva, the taste of Tide coming in 18 minute waves, from chew to exposure of the world outside the cave, denied re-entry by myself. By myself, I want to go further with the colors, the truth, something like Novocaine. This is a small poem I wrote a long time ago in a creative writing class. It's called Ode to Drugs. So different inside than out, like a strain of octopi, I'm pulled and sucked by leeches of my mind. Games tangled like infinite monkey arms in jujitsu. There is psychic trouble. The face seen, not the face to feel, like a maniac, like loving all, like man, woman, wind. Fear the face to feel, not the face to see. I don't know how I feel about that one. These are little monologues I wrote. This one is to a very particular person who got me into everything that's been my demise lately. It's still my choice because I choose to continue. However, I'm choosing to discontinue lately. Um, but these are monologues. This one from me to him. You deceived me and pretended to be a friend while your smiles were only your molars gnawing on the inside of your cheeks. You gave me all I wanted but did not need. I did not need to taste Tide or memorize the number 5992433 forward, backward, and inside out, then outside in. Or I ditched my friends, ditched my mother, bashed my father, and went to go only for what I wanted because I thought I needed it. The taste of Tide. You used me, abused me, threw my psyche over your shoulder like a malleable pawn. You mirrored me and I hated you. I hated you so like Jesus I tried to love you. Yet you played my motives, my love to your advantage. You touched me without hands because physical conflict I can handle, but I could not control the taste of Tide. Now I'm collapsed, going beyond the taste, beyond the urge. I don't know where I'm going without love, for myself, and therefore none for another. This I need, but do not deserve. Want the seed to death of a rebirth. And this is a monologue of him to me. I'm not that innocent anymore. Don't you learn? I sprinkle mucky beads of water in his face, and he sits and smiles while it collects in his teeth like liquefied shit. Does he know there's cyanide in every word I say? I will feed you cyanide, and I will tell you it's cake. Eat it. Eat it all, and eat it fast. And you will. And you did. There's no mystery there. I stopped him asking it over a week ago. But you keep taking it because I eat it too. I'll never get used to the taste, neither will you, but you'll crave it. I've made sure of it. Don't feed me that cyanide cake bullshit. I say don't because I want it, and I know you only want to defy me. You like challenges, so do I. But you never were difficult to figure out. 
I've mapped you out into a trap. It's a good one. I'm still trapped too.